It's a celebrity feud no one saw coming. In one corner, there's pop star turned reality TV punchline Jessica Simpson. I know it's tuna, but it, it says chicken by the sea. And in the other corner, there's manic pixie dream girl turned brooding thespian Natalie Portman. I have no time for your maiden pleasantries. On December 5th, 2018, the irresistible singer took to Instagram to slam the Black Swan star's recent comments regarding a decades-old magazine cover. It all started when Portman told USA Today, I remember being a teenager and there was Jessica Simpson on the cover of a magazine saying I'm a virgin while wearing a bikini. And I was confused. Like, I don't know what this is trying to tell me as a woman, as a girl. In response, Simpson shared a text post with her more than 4 million followers that was as long as it was blurry, calling Padme out for shaming her. It's too long to quote here in its entirety, but the gist is that Simpson's public image wasn't in her control at the time. But even if it was, it's cool, because virgins can still be sexy. Or something. The former Daisy Duke turned billion dollar fashion magnate also wanted Portman to know that she's always been a feminist icon, writing, I have always embrace being a role model to all women, to let them know that they can look however they want, wear whatever they want, and have sex or not have sex with whomever they want." Simpson concluded her post by challenging Portman to step up to her level, writing, "...the power lies within us as individuals. I have made it my practice to not shame other women for their choices." In this era of Time's Up and all the great work you have done for women, I encourage you to do the same. It wasn't long before the post became a trending topic on Twitter, with a number of social media users chiming in to not only call Portman out, but to also express confusion. This dude spoke for all of us, tweeting, Natalie Portman and Jessica Simpson are beefing? What decade are we in? Following the swift backlash on social media, Portman dove into the lion's den, taking to the comments section of Simpson's post to apologize. She wrote, Thank you for your words. I completely agree with you that a woman should be allowed to dress however she likes and behave however she likes and not be judged. Portman then went on to clarify her initial comments, writing, I only meant to say I was confused. As a girl coming of age in the public eye around the same time, by the media, has mixed messages about how girls and women were supposed to behave. I didn't mean to shame you, and I'm sorry for any hurt my words may have caused." The Jackie star ended on a diplomatic note, writing, "...I have nothing but respect for your talent and your voice that you use to encourage and empower women all over the globe." Portman also spoke with Entertainment Tonight about this weird slab of now-squashed beef, saying that calling Simpson out by name was her biggest misstep. Yeah, I would never intend to shame any yeah. anybody, yeah. Um, and and that was absolutely not my intention. It is a mistake to yeah. say anyone's name, so I should not have. I, well. I could have. I could have made my message without naming. As of the making of this video, Simpson has yet to publicly respond to Portman's apology. This isn't the first time Portman has made headlines for challenging double standards in how women are portrayed in the media. At the Los Angeles Women's March in January 2018, Portman recalled the sexualized media attention and fan mail received after her first film. 1994's Leon the Professional. I understood very quickly, even as a 13 year old, that if I were to express myself sexually, I would feel unsafe. So the signals may have gotten crossed in Portman's initial message, but it sounds like she and Simpson are ultimately on the same page on this one. So we can all go back to paying attention to the 2019 grade beef, surely on its way. Like Ariana Grande feuding with her ponytail groomer.